welcome to the technical lockout and welcome to my garage. Welcome, welcome to the first episode of Technical Lockout series with Burak. You may ask how many people someone can fit into a garage. My answer would be at least couple thousand. It depends on your bandwidth. You know why? I guess this is why Vegas doesn't produce many successful startups. What happens in a Silicon Valley garage does not stay in the garage. My name is Murat Karslo. I live in Silicon Valley, which is famous to be a center for IT folks from different countries. Only during the last year, 20,000 people and 25,000 pets moved to the area. It makes rent prices go crazy, so I have to use my garage as laundry, second bedroom, video production studio, and I'm also sharing it with my dog, Pasha, and bunch of his servers. Yes, you heard it right. Even the pets work in IT here. I hired Pasha as a junior webmaster, and he's also 24-7 security guard watching my data center, except the hours he spends watching cat videos. Right, Pasha? I love you too, but get back to work. Okay, let's get serious. I will try to cover tech topics and tools on my technical knockout series. Uh, if you have a topic to suggest me to talk about uh, technology or product, please reach out to me over my Twitter account. If your topic is selected, I will have a gift for you on my show. The topic of our episode today is uh, how to simplify creation of local development environment using Vagrant. Vagrant is an awesome tool for DevOps. Uh, it has mixed open source and proprietary license, which means it has some paid plugins, but free to use. Uh, in short, Vagrant spins up Linux or Windows VMs on demand. It's a great playground for developers and also learning stuff. That's how I deploy my dev stack these days. And let's figure out why people choose Vagrant versus WAMP, MAMP and LAMP stack. Uh, in the next five minutes, uh, we'll see how to install, manage, Vagrant, deploy Vagrant packs, uh, customize them, how to use Vagrant with Git and review Vagrant plugins. I will also give you a link to steps on how to create your own boxes. You will see it's pretty easy. Uh, you can also ask your questions to me using the comment area and I will try to answer them. Let's take a minute br uh, coffee break. When we get back, we will learn how to spend less time building it, more time developing it. in the Bay Area and like coffee, uh, Big Crazy Coffee is one of the places you should know. Uh, during the day it's always crowded. They also serve food items. If you are hungry, you can always stop by, have a good latte. We will continue to visit famous coffee shops around the area. They are very important in Silicon Valley culture. Let's start with the installation. I will use Windows to install. On my Windows machine, I use Sublime Text to edit text files, Git for version controlling, and since it's free, I use VirtualBox as my provider. I expect you to download and install the same tools. They're all free to use. Let's get started. You can download Vagrant from vagrantapp.com. Once you download, double click to start the installation. It's pretty much next, next, next installation. You can change the default installation path. And once you are done, go to git bash. And I created a folder where I keep my VMs. The first thing you need to do, type Vagrant to see if it's installed. Vagrant should return some common commands. Now we can type Vagrant init Ubuntu Trusty64. There are different types of VMs available, templates available. I prefer Ubuntu. So once you do that, Vagrant creates a Vagrant file, which is a text file where you can change your VM config and also you can uh, uncomment this place to enable web access to your VM 
over 80 and pour this forward to 80 80 once you are done type vegan up first thing vegan does checks for the type of vm you are looking for if it's not available it goes to the repo and downloads that vm this may take some time in the meantime let's take a look at uh, where you can find different types of uh, templates virtual machine templates uh, go to vagrantbox.es there are basic instructions how to add to your list and you can find different types of uh, pre-configured VMs here from LAMP stack uh, you can find pre-configured Ubuntu and Windows machines seems like our installation is done uh, let's try to go to localhost 8080 which uh, should forward us to the web server inside our new VM since there is no Apache or web server installed it will not find anything uh, SSH into the box the first thing I'm gonna do update the VM uh, running sudo apt-get update uh, next uh, install Apache sudo apt-get install Apache 2 this is pretty quick process once it's done, I'm gonna go and refresh the web page and which will return the Apache Ubuntu default page. So there are a few other commands you can exit from SSH and type again, type Vagrant again. You can uh, gracefully shut down your VM typing Vagrant Halt and you can type Vagrant up to bring your VM up again and I'm gonna refresh the page. As I mentioned earlier, I use git for version control. You can also use subversion. Let's take a look how I use git for uh, version control of my vagrant boxes. First type git version to make sure git is installed. Now on your project folder, type git init to initialize our repository. You will notice that that git folder will be created. Now type git add vagrant file to add vagrant file to the staging area. We need to commit, type git commit dash m and your comment. Now let's take a look at uh, commit history. You are gonna see our first file is there. We don't want to uh, version control that vagrant folder since it has project specific files. So we are gonna create a git ignore file. You can just create that file and type dot vagrant and save the file. Now we also need to commit this file git add dot ignore dot git ignore adds the file to the staging area we will type git commit dash m adding ignore file let's take a look at the history again commit history uh, git log one line we have two files so now let's change our vagrant file I'm gonna add a command adding versioning here you can make different changes so check uh, git status with git status command git is telling me that I have a new modified file I need to commit git commit dash a dash m updated config if I type git status uh, everything is on master branch uh, if I check history again commit history git log one line I have three changes earlier I showed vagrantbox.es website for vagrantbox templates and I use Ubuntu 64-bit image for my development VM let's take a look how you manage all your boxes and find the type of box you may want to use open a git bash window and type vagrant help box this help command will display available box commands go to the root folder and from root folder change directory to .vagrant.d folder 
you are going to notice a folder called boxes. Under that folder you can find your inventory of local boxes. On my setup I have Monasca Dev Stack Box and a Ubuntu X64 box template. Now let's go to the vagrantcloud.com to search flavors of publicly available Vagrant boxes. On this website you can filter and find boxes by provider and limit the search to VirtualBox, VMware Workstation or even AWS. Try to type any pre-configured environment you are looking for. For example, OpenStack, DevStack, Ubuntu CentOS, Chef, anything that you can imagine, even more specific installations like LampStack. After you pick your Vagrant Box template, go to the git bash again and type Vagrant Box add followed by the box name and switch to the folder where you keep your projects. I'm going to use Chef CentOS uh, 6.5 image, type Vagrant in it box name to initialize, which will result in creation of Vagrant file. Before I switch to the next topic, I also want to show you shared folder feature. To do this, I'm going to uncomment the line which defines the location of local and remote folders to be synced. And I always enable port forwarding for HTTP port 80 to my local, po local host port 8080. As I define on my Vagrant file, I'm going to create a data folder on my desktop. This folder will be synced to Vagrant underscore data on my project VM. You can imagine the use of this feature. You can have your version control source file, source code on one side edit it on the other side and always keep them sync. also useful for backups now type vegan up to bring your vm to live uh, you can follow the progress from the best screen it creates port forwarding creates ssh keys etc our vm is up uh, there are a few more box commands one is uh, vegan box outdated helps you to check if your original template has a new version from its original source if there is then you can updated to latest by using vegan box update command after adding the new one now i have three boxes in my local inventory you can use vegan box remove to remove uh, non-used vegan box templates finally finally i will ssh into my vm and go to the go to my sync folder which is located under root vegan underscore data folder every file i create here will be synced to the originally defined folder on my desktop as well as all files I create and edit on my local data folder will appear on my development VM. Vagrant has many plugins to solve developer problems and add new functionality to your setup. Let's take a look at what we have and where we can find new plugins. Type Vagrant help plugin to list available comments. Uh, type Vagrant plugin list uh, to list install plugins on your environment. Open a browser and search for available Vagrant plugins. Click on the top link which is hosted on GitHub. When you scroll down you will see available categories. I use vSphere in uh, production on many servers where license is available. Uh, Vagrant provider for vSphere is not enabled by default. So I use Vagrant vSphere provider plugin. You can find many more uh, provider plugins here as well. On my local setup I prefer VirtualBox because it's free. But I always run into issues when I forget to upgrade VirtualBox guest editions. For example, uh, this vegan VB guest plugin is used to solve that common problem. It manages VirtualBox guest edition and protects your VMs from getting out of sync. When you click on a plugin, readme file describes the plugin and steps to install. Let's install this Vagrant VB guest plugin. Switch back to git bash, type vegan plugin install vegan dash vb guest, 
when you list the plugins again you will see the newly installed plugin we previously initialized and created the vagrant file for ubuntu trusty 64 so just type vagrant up this time during the vm boot you will notice guest edition updates To validate if VirtualBox editions are installed, you can check if the sync folders are mounted. To do that, after VM is powered on, type vagrant ssh to ssh into our VM and make sure sync folders are here. You can use Vagrant plugin update to update installed plugins. To uninstall a plugin, you can type Vagrant uninstall followed by the plugin name. This is it for today. Thank you for watching and see you on the next episode where we will talk about containers.